Hey everyone, it's Mojax back in the DJ City UK lab. Today I've got a quick tip for all you Serato DJ users and indeed the Scratch Live holdouts out there. Now, you know, it is time to move on, but this will work for you as well. I was talking to one of my friends from Serato recently and they said to me that one of the things they get asked on a regular basis is where to get replacement control CDs. Now, of course, there are numerous ways you can control Serato DJ, of course, DVS with vinyl, actual standalone controllers, you know, HID mode with media players, loads of different ways of doing it. But, you know, if you're a club DJ, chances are, especially in Europe and in the UK, but all over the world, really, there's a good chance at some point you're going to need to use DVS with the control CDs. Now, these CDs do come with most of the hardware that you buy for DVS with, with Serato DJ, like the 72. You know, I've just got this on review. That came with a pair of CDs in the box. But these are easily scratched, broken, or lost. You know, especially as, unlike control vinyl, which is sitting there on the turntable, these are sitting inside a CDJ or something, it's quite easy to forget those at the end of the night, especially if you've had one too many drinks. So yeah, Serato do get asked on a regular basis, where do I get control CDs? And one thing that you must never do, I would say with these, is go out and buy them. You can actually purchase these, they are available as like a spare, but Serato really aren't bothered about selling you CDs. They actually offer the noise map control signal, the CD itself, for download for free on the Serato website. So all you need to do is go to serato.com forward slash control CD forward slash downloads, and that will get you to the page to actually download it. Now there's two ways you can download it. You can download it first of all as a zip file, just download that, open up, and you've got inside that zip file is a WAV file of the control signal, you know, 15 minute control signal. You can then burn that to a disc. It would have to be an audio CD is the way to burn it. So you just burn it as an audio CD. You could use iTunes, really any CD burning software. Just don't do anything to the file. Don't, you know, do leveling or downsampling or anything like that. Just burn it clean. And that will work perfectly well with any CD player. Then you've also got the ISO file format, the ISO. And with that one, you can burn that as a disc image. And that's an image of this actual CD. The difference being that you've got the control tone as track one, and you also have the vinyl scroll mode on there as well, which now I personally have never seen anyone use that. I don't know anyone who does. Let us know in the comments down below if you do, because I'd be really interested to hear that. But as I say, I've never seen anyone use it. So personally, I would stick to just downloading the zip file with the WAV file inside. You can then burn it to a CD if you need to. If you don't have a CD drive, a lot of modern laptops don't, then you can actually just stick it onto a USB stick and you know, just drag it on there, drag and drop, put that into like a CDJ, and you can just load up from the USB stick and use the control tone that way. So yeah, it's very simple to do. It's only about 130 megabytes, so it's gonna take up virtually no space on your laptop. So it's well worth, even if you don't need some control CDs right now, it's probably worth just going there downloading it, having it there on your hard drive. So if you do need to put it on a USB stick or to burn some CDs, you've got no internet access. Well, there you go, you've got the file ready to go. So yeah, don't go buying these things. Definitely not. Just download it, burn them yourself, and you're good to go. Thank you for watching today. Make sure you subscribe for all our future tips, tricks, and product reviews. I'll see you soon.